Hello there and welcome back to Midlife Crisis. I'm Cheryl. I'm all over the place and so a little time passed by, which I apologize about. I went over to Miami just to take a break. I have a new grandson. I'm so excited. It just wasn't enough time, but I want to talk about a topic that is really bothering me because it's a lot of responses, a lot of comments, and it's very disturbing stuff. Today, I'd like to talk about how to cope with abusive adult children how we can just live our lives and get past this thing. So don't go away. So I've had my experience with this thing and it is no joke. Topics that I cover, it is not hypothetically. I am talking from experience. So I would like to just kind of cover a few pointers on how you can actually cope. Because if you're not careful, if you don't have the support, which I was finding was happening to me, you can be all over the place. And I can't tell you how far I've gone in thoughts on, you know, where to turn. I was even thinking to go to a TV station because when you are in this environment and you have nowhere else to turn, it is not only painful, you know, it can affect you in a negative way. So you have to be very careful. So I'd like to just kind of cover what I went through and how I dealt with it. And I can tell you that when it's happening, you turn to every corner. You start thinking, where did I go wrong? You know, who can I turn to? And in my case, there was no sister or brother. There was no one to turn to. I was talking a lot of what was going on with my mom, but she was so far in age that I didn't want to burden her too much. She even offered to come to the house to talk to the boys because I have boy children. And it was, it was difficult. It was hard, it was stifling. I was lost and I'm a person that's well-versed on things. And what I was experiencing, I couldn't make sense of it because I woke up one day and it was happening. You know, like I said in previous videos, you can raise your children, give them all of the pointers for their adult life. But trust me when I tell you, they decide which route they're going to take. And once the disrespect, the insensitivity and the manipulation starts taking place, you've got to take a step back because you can easily be pulled out of your character, which is what happened to me. I have a temper. Okay, and I'm like a colonel in certain ways. So I was fighting back, you know, raising my children, I never cursed at them. I would discipline them, I would correct them, but there was no cursing going on. But after a while, I was hearing the effing word, and I know how to do that, you know. So it was tit for tat at that point, because now they're not children, they're adults. If you don't step back, and take control of the situation, you can easily be pulled out of your character, which you do not want to do. I mean, there are times that you don't have control over certain things, but step back, step back and see what's feeding into it. You have a troublemaker somewhere and you've got to find out who that person is because this is not just happening. There is someone in the background, whether it's the other parent another sibling, there is someone in the background that is helping to egg this situation on. But it is in your household, so you're the one that's going to have to put the situation under control. I am saying over and over, pay attention to you, you know, focus on you. And that's kind of hard to do when you have all of these things going on, but you have to come to a point where you are not giving in, but giving that tough love, I promise you, things will get better. You know, everything has its season and you are in this mode right now, but it will change. Just keep praying about it and focus on what you need. If you need to get out of the house, if you need to fly out, which is something I used to do a lot, you know, this way, when you're out of the environment, you can look in and see exactly what route you need to take to correct things. 
but don't fully lose control where you're losing respect for yourself and giving in to a parasitic situation. Because I can tell you that if you do that, nothing will get corrected. We are dealing with a generation that is completely different to what we know. And you've got to slam the brakes on the situation and fix things step by step. But while you're doing that, pay attention to you and what you need to make yourself happy. And eventually things will work itself out. You know, I'm seeing that we have some adult children that are trying to justify the situation. And we know what we're saying. We know what we're complaining about. And I'm responding to some of them because the world is a circle and things go around and eventually they themselves will be apparent if they're not already. Some of the people that are like commenting on this topic, they have grandchildren that are being pushed on them and there, there is no gratitude. Some of them are experiencing disrespect from the grandchildren, if you can believe that. So this is how far this thing is going. But again, keep the situation in control and pay attention to what you need to make yourself happy, stable, and stay healthy, because that's what's important. You know, you cannot do any kind of crash landing. You've got to stay stabilized and you have to control the situation. I know growing up, no one can take advantage of you unless you let them. So pay attention because if you don't do that, you will find yourself being completely manipulated and you don't want to do that. You want to stay in control and you want to have your peace. And the way to do that is to keep your focus and stay in control. Okay, it's not an easy thing, but if you're thinking about it, it's going to happen. As I said, keep praying about the situation and things will work itself out. It will. It always does. Okay, check us out at midliferises.com. Do subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified of our weekly videos and we will see you next time. Take care now.